Hello and welcome to this introduction. I am Izaz Dino and I will be instructor for this course. And I like to show you how you can easily create your own social networking website Twitter clone using PHP, MySQL and JavaScript framework. So here is our complete finished project. So whatever we are going to learn from this course and what features are going to be included in this course you are going to see in this introduction. So here is our complete finished website what you are going to build from this course. So here is our login and registration page from there user can login to their account or can create a new account to use this website. So let's log into our home page or you can say news feed page because in this news feed page you're going to see the tweets or you can say posts from other users. So here's our tweets from other user. As you can see, we have a lots of tweets in our home page. And let's click on the tweet so you can view the tweet and display the tweet in a pop-up. As you can see, we have a retweet count, like counts, and we can comment on the tweet as well. Let's try to comment this. Let's say comment here. Click on the tweet and it added a comment below the tweet as you can see. And we can create a tweet from this form. Let's create a tweet using hashtag because we have a functionality like Twitter to include hashtag and mention in our tweet. So let's create a hashtag using hash symbol and we'll say PHP and display the PHP hashtag from database. Click on that and let's also mention a user in our tweet. So let's say add sign and username will be here. Click on the username right here and let's say this is our new tweet and click on this tweet button. And as you can see, it posted our tweet right below here. And we can like tweet if you want to like just clicking on the heart icon here. And as you can see, it liked the tweet and we can read it a tweet by clicking on this read it icon and we can add a text to our retweet. So let's say retweet, click on this retweet button and it retweeted our tweet as you can see and you can view this retweet by going to your profile each user have their own profile to view their posts and their likes and their followers so we have a follower page and following page to view user following and user followers so here's our retweet which we just retweeted and let's go to followers page to view the user for followers so here's our user followers and let's go to user followings and here's our user followings. And we can follow each user by searching the user. Let's follow the user. Go to the user profile. And from here we can unfollow the user. As you can see it updated the number of followers. And if I follow again, it updated a follower number again. Because we follow the user again. So we have a follow and follow function. And we have also a who to follow suggestion box to display randomly users from our database to follow the users. And we have a trending posters as well to display the most trending posters in our website. And let's see our trending posters by clicking on this trending hashtag. And it redirects us to a hashtag page where we display the tweets, the accounts and photos related to the hashtag. So here's our post related to the hashtag and let's view the account related to the hashtag by clicking on this accounts link right here. As you can see display the accounts related to the hashtag and let's see the photos related to the hashtag by clicking on this photos icon photo link. And as you can see it display the photos you can like photos from here view photo and retweet the retweet. And as you can see, we have a notification to read and messages. As you can see, display the account. We have an unread notification. Click on that notification link and it will redirect us to notification page. From here, we can see notification. As you can see, someone like my tweet, follow me and read your my tweet. And let's see the recent message by clicking on this message icon and pop up our message. As you can see, the recent message from the user. Let's click on this user and let's reply this user. Let's say hello again. Click on the send button. We can delete the message if we want. Just click on this trash icon right here and we can delete the message if we want. 
and we have many more functionality that I can't cover in one lecture. So you are going to learn many, many new things like rewriting a friendly URs and profile settings and everything like that. So user can update profile image and profile bio. So there's a many more things that I can't cover in one lecture. I hope you will enroll to this course and I will be happy to become your instructor to teach you how you can easily create your own such an algorithm site. Or if you get any error or you are stuck at our course, you can just simply ask me or message me and I will happily surely help you out. So hopefully I will see you in the next lecture.